What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is a real fun one. We are going to try to recreate John Mayer's isolated guitar tone from his solo on Last Train Home in the studio. Should be fun. Also, because we don't have a Soldano Estela 100, we have a Fender Howard Deluxe. So let's go. So, before we dive into today's video, a bit of background. Last week, last Saturday, I think it was, the session on IG, he broke down Last Train Home track by track. Drums, percussion, bass, keys, all nine guitar parts from John, as well as the vocals. Even more cool was that John, Aaron, Sean, and Greg Fillingane, they were all in the chat talking to all of us, talking about the recording process, talking about the gear that was used, answering questions etc. So we found out that for the solo, it was the Soldano SLO 100, which we saw in the last Train Home music video, but we had no idea what it was for. We also found out slash confirmed the use of the Boss CE2 for the chorus. It also revealed here in the isolated guitar track for the solo that there was a ton of reverb and delay. The delay really sparked my interest because it was one of those delays that as he was playing, wasn't getting in the way. But when he stopped playing, the delay feedback appeared. So I think that was added in post, um, delay and reverb. Um, so like I mentioned before, today's video, we're going to try to recreate that same tone in the studio. So let's go. Alrighty. So now we're plugged in, ready for the fun part of the video constructing this tone. So as mentioned before, the rig is not really what John used because we're not using a Soldano amp, nor are we using a Boss CE2. We're using Silver Sky, Golden Mesa, into my pedal board using the King Tone Soloist, Way Huge Blue Hippo Mark III, the small version, all going in into the best amp in the world, the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, and using the aux for the recording and providing reverb and delay. Like I said before, hearing the ISO tracks on Instagram from the session on IG Live, we heard a ton of reverb and some killer delay. So we're gonna do our best to recreate that tone. So before we start all that, adding overdrive, chorus, delay, reverb. Here is our guitar tone, just plugged in, clean. No effects, nothing. Right, very classic Fender Clean. Right, the Howard Deluxe thrives in these type of setting as using it as a clean platform. So now we'll add in the way huge Blue Hippo. It is brighter than the CE2. It's pretty obvious, but hey, that's what we got. You don't need every pedal John has. <laughs> so here's the Blue Hippo. Still clean.
So there's our chorus. Now let's go to the aux and add in our plate reverb, right? The setting I am using on the aux, which you can see off on the screen, is called the comfortable lead setting, but I modified it so you can see my settings now as well. So here is plate reverb on and chorus. So right there, we're basically getting that tone. But now we need to add in the grit, the overdrive, the distortion. And in that case, we're using the King Tone Soloist. I know live John uses the TS-10, but for this isolated guitar tone, I think it would have sounded too compressed and too much gain. So I had the soloist with the gain pretty high, volume around like 11 o'clock, body about 1 o'clock, and tone about 11 o'clock as well in the stock setting. So now we're adding King Tone Soloist with chorus and plate reverb. It's going to get pretty loud. <laughs> So we're 99% there, basically. Right? That's the sound, I think. We're, so, we're in that ballpark with what we have. Also, quick note, the tone control is very useful in this situation because if you hear the recording, it's not super bright, but it's very mid-focused. So I'm going to turn my, my tone control back a little bit from 10 to about, let's say, 6. And that'll just help roll off a bit of the high end, which is really nice, actually. Check this out. As opposed to tone on 10. They both work. Just up to you. Do you want it brighter or darker? I like it actually about tone around 6. Wow. 
right? Also, a very key part of the solo is the confidence when you have that doing that bend. <laughs> In vibrato. Right? You gotta be confident with that bend and vibrato. It makes the solo. So now all we have left to add tonal wise is delay. I have, as you can see from the aux, a dual delay at about 185 milliseconds. Makes nothing crazy, about 2.9%. So it's sitting right below the reverb, right? So here is plate reverb, delay, king tone soloist, way huge blue hippo, Fender Hot Rod Deluxe clean amp. So that's the tone. Again, if we take everything off, here's our starting tone. Add in chorus. Add in plate reverb. Add in king tone soloist. Add in delay. So that is my attempt to recreate the John Mayer Last Train Home isolated guitar solo tone. Well, all right, guys, that's today's video trying to nail John Mayer's isolated guitar solo tone for the solo on Last Train Home. I've been obsessing with this song for like two days now, trying to figure out how can I recreate that sound with the tools that I have, which is really fun because not all of us have Soldano SLO 100 amps and we don't have a studio. So how can we recreate that same tone with the tools that we have in an apartment, right? All this stuff is accessible. You can buy from Sweetwater Guitar Center, Amazon. It's readily available. So it's really fun to dig deep what combination work, what settings on pedals work and try to really get in that mindset of recording that solo. So that is today's video on 
Last Train Home solo tone. Let me know how I did. Did I get close? What do you think? What could I improve on? Let me know in the comments below. So if you liked today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.